everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha and this is Pips of Future Highlights. In today's episode, we're going to continue our Ghetto Customizer deep dive and we're going to check the latest category, our last category of all of the options available in it, and that is Pipso. Here in this category, we can control some certain aspect of the Pipso plugin, and there is a lot of settings over here, so we shall get straight into them, all right? The first option over here in the Pipso category of Get With Customizer, it's the profile page settings. If we expand that, we can see that there is an option for profile cover size and the profile cover height. So in order to see the changes for when we change the options over here, we need to go to the profile page. Okay, so let's try to change the profile cover size and change it to wide cover. Now, when the site loads, you see how the cover has been changed and full width cover, the change will not immediately be visible here, but you will see how it, it takes the full width and white cover is more boxed one you will see the uh, you see how there is a there is a box like a box so i'm gonna use the full width cover and also i'm going to extend the profile cover height to be bigger or i can make it smaller okay let's make it a little bit bigger and publish these changes In the same settings, I can also center and focus avatar and details and you will see how it's gonna be centered here as it was when I change the setting when I change this setting. So that's that and I can also change the profile avatar size, make it smaller or make it bigger if I want. Let's switch over to the general and see what do we have there. So in the general, we can show page title on Pipso pages. Uh, this option over here is not going to work if you have set your pages to not display uh, page titles in the Gecko itself. So that is published in the page when you create a page there's an option on the sidebar to uh, hide actually let me show it to you so i'm gonna publish all of this and let's go back to the pages all pages and find the recent activity and edit you see how the hide page title is hidden Let's show it. Now I'm gonna update this page, go back to the WordPress, check my site as soon as it allows me, okay? And you see how the page title is displayed, all right? Let's go back to the Ghetto Customizer. then pipso as soon as it allows me general and show page title on pipso pages if i hide this you see how the page title is gone all right so if you didn't hide the page titles in the pages themselves you can hide them here avatars and avatar corners will affect all of the avatars on your website so let me scroll a little a little bit down so you can see more avatars and if i start reducing the corners i can make them totally square or make the radius of the corner a little bit uh, smoother or sharper or i can make it totally round if i want Finally, an other will make your full-width Pipso pages on mobile. So when you take a look 
or your site on a mobile phone, there will be no uh, no uh, width based on the on the cover. So let me change quickly change to mobile so you can see. And when I enable this, you will see how the page is gonna expand through the entire width of the screen. Okay, that's that's that. Let me disable it so you can see the change one more time. Now the layout is more boxed. You see, it's not taking the whole screen. Let's quickly change to desktop and move to the buttons category. There are two types of buttons in Pipso. Uh, default style and action buttons. Default buttons will be all the buttons that are uh, that are serving some default purposes like cancel and action buttons are all of the buttons that perform some action like send a message or stuff like that. And the easiest for me to show it it's in the comment itself. So I'm gonna start writing the comment and this is the default button and this is the action button okay you can also see it here if you start writing the post like hello you have the cancel button and the post button which is the default and the action so if i change the button background on the default button you'll see immediately how this uh, backgrounds are gonna change for for this button okay so I can make it all kind of different colors if I want. Also, I can change the text color and you will immediately see how text here and here is gonna change. Let's bring it back to black. Background on hover, action button text color on hover. And finally, the same way you can also affect your action buttons if you want, right? So you can change the colors, background, button text, button background on hover, and of course, text color on hover. That's it for the buttons. Let's move to the toolbar. And in toolbar, you can't, you can't actually see anything because we are not showing the Pipso toolbar. That is one of the first options we recommend to actually turn off when you are using the Gecko theme. But if you want to use it, let us first enable the toolbar and then we are going to come back here to the Gecko Customizer. In order to do that, we need to go to Pipso Configuration and then Appearance. And in the general settings of Appearance, we are gonna disable Pipso Navigation Bar and turn that off okay let's save the settings and now if we take a look at our at our community we can see the toolbar displayed over there all right so let's go back to the customizer and see how we can affect the toolbar Let's expand the Pipso settings, go to toolbar, and let's try to make it sticky. Now, pay attention what will happen with the toolbar if you scroll down. It will stick right next to the header, or below the header. So, here it is, okay? We made it stick to the top, okay? Toolbar background, lens color, and lens Hover, I don't think I have to explain these options uh, to the detail because that's just a color change. I'm gonna keep it transparent. It's gonna inherit some, uh, it's gonna uh, inherit the option from the different elements. And I can change the font size if I want. And I can change the icon size. But we really recommend to actually disable toolbars on your websites when you're using the Gecko theme. So I'm just going back to Pipso configuration, appearance, 
and I'm gonna disable that navigation bar because I don't want it there. I already have a navigation on my website over here and there is really no need for this to be there. But if you want to use it, it's an option and it's there and there are get -to customizer options for it as well. Back in customizer, the next option is activity stream and this is the big one which will allow you to fine tune how your activity stream is going to look. First option that you have is reducing the gap between two activity stream posts. This gap over here. So if I increase the gap, you will see how every single activity stream post is going to increase the gap between each other. I can reduce the gap to or completely disable the gap by saying zero pixel, but I am going to return it back to 20 how it was. Okay, so I like some gap over here. I can make, I can change the post background if I want. Let's use something silly. Okay. I can change the post text color if I want. And immediately you're going to see the change. But I don't like this, so I'm going to revert it to how it was. Okay. Now, Font size in the post is going to increase the font size in the post naturally. And for the pinned post, you actually need to have a pinned post in order for this to work. So let's pin this post. Now this post is pinned. And I can change the border color for it. Let's make it red to follow our Okay, and I can marker text change the marker text color, which is this text over there. I can make it red like this and publish my changes to apply them. I can change the border size here, make it thicker or smaller or no border at all. Let's keep it like this. And the next options are photos in posts. Remember, we are still here in the activity stream, but this is related to photos. Now, in order for to properly display uh, the options and uh, affected uh, layout that is going to happen when we change these options over here, I had to disable completely disable one sidebar on my website. So I have more real estate in the activity stream and I am going to limit the single photo width instead of the 100%. So instead of taking 100% of the, of the real estate in the activity, I am just going to change that to 50% and publish the changes. Now I'm also going to upload the photo which is smaller than available space. I use these photos for the, for the different video. Okay. And you see how it's not taking the entire space of the, of the post. Okay. I can change this to, let's say 100% and it's still not taking the, the whole space, which is good. Okay. I can force the single photo to fill 100%, but some distortion will happen, okay? Because I need to refresh this page, I am just going to go back to WordPress and visit community in new page. Let's go back to get to customizer. See what happened over there. Activity stream for single photo to fill 100% width. And it's filling the 100% width over here, but we are limiting that to 50%. So this may be confusing. All right. But trust me, it's there with a, for a reason because let's publish this and then reload the page. 
you see some distortion might happen like distortion like this and you can limit that single photo limit to let's say 50 percent and disable this option over here because we don't want any uh, any distortions let's reduce this to 50 to 100 increase it to 100 actually and the image will be displayed as is and post attachment background color will simply change the background color over here okay you can also trim the single photo if you wish and uh, if the photo is very big it will uh, trim if it will trim it and add expand expand button single photo height let's say 200 pixels it will change it to something like this and the post gallery width it's 100 post gallery is when you have multiple images let me find the post with multiple images so here it is 100 percent let's reduce it to 70 percent you see how it's how how's that changed so finally we can also make changes in the post box and these are basically just the post box uh, test color or text uh, actually color changes for the text icons active icons separators and stuff like that so let me change the background you see how it's changed post text you can experiment with or, with other options if you wish so all right so to continue we have the notifications here and i uh, enabled my sidebars back so my site looks nice and in notifications i can basically only change the colors of the notifications here uh, let's change the counter background to to something else you see how this color change over here let's make it red so it fits our website better okay you can change that here and you can change the text counter color if you want let me do a little experiment with the black color and a really bright notification okay you see it here so it looks more like my hashtag over here so yeah you can change the you can change the colors of the notifications same thing for polls let's create some options over here let's do option one option two post it background colors we can change the background colors for the options and in fill colors will happen when i submit the voice and this is the infill color okay so let's change it to, to something else so it's more readable like this okay i'm gonna publish this and the same things can be applied for hashtags that you see over there text color and text background we can make the text color more dark or lighter if you wish we can change the background color for the hashtags and this brings us to the groups so let's switch to the groups let's open this delicious stuff group and here we can change the cover height all right we can change the outer size and that's basically it okay chat and messages chat window notification background color let's open the chat window first let's see the new messages these are some messages that i have and the chat window notification background color is just going to change the background for the notification where we when we have it 
chat message background for the participants it's going to change the background of all the messages that participants send to you chat messages text color is going to change the text color for the participants okay now for you chat message background let's change it to something blue okay so this is the message that you're going to send and naturally chat message the text color there's an option for that as well okay what's next we've been to all of them which leads us to the final option and that is for the landing and register box but i cannot be logged in on the website while i'm changing these options so i'm going to open the new incognito window and then use my toolbar to actually change between the two in this window i'm gonna open the pipso tv or the home page landing page and this is the page where we're gonna make the changes so let's go back to customizer let's change the landing image height to let's say 200 pixels so you can immediately see the change the change will be ridiculous but it will be so yeah <laughs> a lot of things have changed okay uh, this is not good so let's bring it back to let's say just 50 percent publish it switch back over here and now it's a little bit different if uh, you can change the background color under the image if you don't have the image that fools the entire width let's change it to black and landing image position we can center it or make it to the top we can change the landing image size to the cover auto or contain and even repeat the landing image if we wish so okay so let's see what did we create right now there is no big change but if you have a little photo like uh, like very small photo cropped uh, to a minimum size you can really make a difference with the with the options over here in the customizer so i'm just gonna go and change the image in the pipso configuration then appearance and I'm going to change this image to something else. So let's upload the files and let's use this equal icon that we used in one of our previous videos. So you can immediately see the difference what I'm talking about when I go back to the Gecko customizer. let's refresh the page here so you can see the black background because i have the transparent image over here the background is black the height is different open the data customizer please all right so all of the options over there are respected actually here let's change the background to this red for example so if you have a transparent image for the landing image now our background is gonna be red we can change the height let's change it to 40 percent publish it oh, actually that's the same one now it's smaller you can uh, these options will give you a lot of options to uh, to uh, change the 
how your landing image is displayed. Okay. Let's make it to the cover size, publish all of that. Let's check what do we have now. All right, so you have the options to play around with the landing image and you can do all of that on the mobile view as well. And finally, we have reached the end of this mini series regarding the Eto Customizer. In five episodes, we covered all of the options that are available in it. And I would like to take this opportunity to advise all of our future viewers. So if you look, if you watch these videos in the future, some of the options might be different, might be changed, or you will probably see a completely new set of features that are not covered in this video. And that simply means that we uh, develop Pipso and Gecko team constantly introducing the new features and new possibilities. All right. With that, I would like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow us on social media. All the relevant links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best. Bye.